Babylon. A lot of mud brick and not much else. Why do the Russians want to dig it up? I hereby remind Comrade Dr. Valodnikov that socialist theory disavows the existence of supernatural powers. Those doctrinaire apparatchiki. What is it? They think I'm out here searching for God? Possibly. I'm just decoding the message, sir. I'm searching for Marduk, a creature the Babylonians worshipped as a god, but he doesn't live in heaven, just on another plane. What kind of plane, sir? Soviet or American? Not airplane, you idiot. It's another dimension of reality. The Ethereum. Be careful, Professor. When questions of ideology arise, they often conceal doubts about methods and results. In four ministers, we're making excellent progress, all according to plan. We know the true story is waiting in the room of the tablets. That's where we'll find out what happened to the tower. And to the machine, Marduk inspired. We are close. It's a matter of days. And damn the ideology! What's this? First aid. Hmm. First aid. Hey. First aid. Go right through the checkpoint. That's my passport. Uh-oh. 
look what I found. Aha! Comrade Dr. Valadnikov, we have Narushitil in our sight. Capture him if possible. Otherwise, Strelyai the dog. That's her! Open the door. I'm here to deliver supplies. You know, dig stuff. <laughs> Whatever you need, I've got it. Hello, Dr. Jones. Welcome to Babel. I'm Simon Turner. Remember, CIA? Sophia works for me. Oh, you stole the cogwheel. And our combi friends don't even know it's gone. Volodnikov's a hopeless academic, not a field man, and frankly, I need clues he doesn't have. That's why you got tapped. You, a famous archaeologist. I'm just a spy. This should get you through the door. By the way, rumor has it they found a gold statuette of the winged god Marduk. Be awful nice to have that. CIA runs a museum. The company runs a hive of soulless bureaucrats, but I am a passionate collector. I'll bet you are.
this Mr. Otis didn't actually invent the elevator after all. Turner was right about Volodnikov. A good digger would have found this long ago. What do you know? Sophia's little gift has a purpose. Okay, where am I? Nebuchadnezzar's library, maybe. Shh, don't disturb the patrons. Well, that's easy. They've been dead for thousands of years. What's this? What have we here? An idol. What's this? Part of a cuneiform tablet. Hmm. A fragment of text. Look what I found. Aha! Another text fragment. Well, well, look at this. Marduk, wings and all. <laughs> Not bad as priceless treasures go. There's some cuneiform writing here, but I can't read it. Some of the tablets are missing. There, it fits. But I still can't read anything. Now it starts to make sense. Let's see here. 
Make welcome seeker. Know that it was Nebuchadnezzar, in heed of the writing uh, that Marduk made appear unto him, who builded the great engine. Having no understanding, the rabble hath thrown down his work, but four trusted disciples are, are scattered upon the face of the earth, and the relics go with them. Wouldst thou tread the path of knowledge, look eastward. Ergon it is who flees to the heavenly mountains, where Shambhala holds a mighty secret. Heavenly mountains. I wonder if that means the Tian Shan Range. Ah, Jones, there you are. Got a statue for me? Will this do? It just might. Anything else? According to the inscription, the tower once housed a great engine. When the Babylonians smashed the thing, four priests escaped with the parts. Taking them where? Not sure, except in one case. Some fellow named Ergon headed for the Heavenly Mountains. There's a crude map of Central Asia. That's not much help. Might be enough. The Tian Shan Range straddles the border between China and Kazakhstan. The name translates as Heavenly Mountains. Kazakhstan? Last time I looked, that was Soviet territory. Maybe I won't show the border guards my passport. Okay, buddy, it's your funeral. <laughs> 